Well, September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and a newly published study has shed some new light on the potential of immunotherapy in African-American men who are at increased risk of developing the disease. I recently spoke about these exciting new findings with Dr. Lamda Mazana, a local urologist specializing in the treatments of advanced prostate cancer at Georgia Urology. Take a look. Doctor, it is a pleasure having you on the show to talk about such important information. First, let's talk stats, numbers. How many men are diagnosed with prostate cancer each year? Yes, thanks for having me. About 190,000 men are diagnosed with prostate cancer yearly, and about 33,000 will die of the disease. Doctor, are you finding in your research that there is uh, one particular group of men who um, tend to be diagnosed with prostate cancer more than another? Yes, risk factors for prostate cancer include a strong family history of prostate cancer, the elderly population as you get older you're at higher risk as well as African American race. And treatments, now let's talk about treatment options for men who are diagnosed maybe later in terms of later stage, um, what are you doing for them, what is available? So once prostate cancer has spread outside the local area, we typically start hormone therapy first, which is testosterone blockade, and then add in additional therapies such as potentially chemo, alternative hormone therapies, and then immunotherapy. And let's talk more about that. I feel like I've been hearing immunotherapy um, and kind of a, a buzzword in the medical profession now. What is it? How does it work? And break it down for us in layman's terms. Yes, so immunotherapy, specifically for prostate cancer, uses the patient's own white blood cells. So those are the cells that typically fight infection. We actually harvest them from the patient, sensitize them to prostate cancer, and then deliver them back as a series of infusions and use the body's own immune system to fight metastatic prostate cancer. That is wonderful. And what are you seeing about the benefits of this therapy for African-American men when it compares to Caucasian men? A large study of men receiving immunotherapy showed that African-American men lived over four and a half years compared to two and a half years for Caucasian men, which is a difference of more than 20 months and nearly 50 percent reduction in the risk of death during the study period. Oh, um, are, are there common side effects that anyone watching should know about when it comes to the treatment? Yeah, the main side effect is fatigue or tiredness, um, weight loss, um, flu-like symptoms, and headache. But the majority of patients tolerate immunotherapy quite well. Good. It sounds like they tolerate it and respond to it well. What would you say to anybody watching who is apprehensive about getting screened? Obviously, because of the pandemic, a lot of people are putting off important doctor's appointments. How can we encourage people to still continue and check on uh, their health? Yes, it's very important not to ignore your routine health screenings, including prostate cancer screening. Uh, we know that uh, when we identify prostate cancer in particular early, our treatment options are more effective. Um, all doctor's offices are taking precautions to make sure it's safe to come in for us to continue to take care of patients. Absolutely. Our health is just too important uh, to risk putting off anything that you think might be a symptom of prostate cancer. And you have actually the largest urology practice in the Southeast. Uh, where can we go to learn more about your offices, your practices, and get that all-important screening? Right. So we have over 40 providers in the Atlanta area and surrounding areas as well. So you can go to gaurology.com to read more about Georgia Urology, see our providers, read our blogs, and find out more information about prostate cancer. Thank you so much, doctor. Such important, critical information. We appreciate your time.